Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're back at the Colorado School of Mines, our favorite place for blowing things up. It'd be a crime, I feel like, if we didn't do something on this trip with a shape charge. It is a crime. We've done them every single time we've been here. Mm -hmm. Here's one. Like Whoa! <laughs> what? Here's another. I like them. Another? There's another. There you go. <laughs> Whoa, wow. Every time so far we've done it, we've only done it with one charge. So I thought this time, how about we get two charges and point them at each other. Make them fight. Fight. For those who haven't seen a shape charge video, what's a shape charge, Dan? It's uh, an explosive where you start the explosion here and there's some explosives packed behind this focusing copper liner. What it does is it causes from the rear the focused jet to appear. It kind of inverts the cone. And these are used for making holes in things like steel or earth or concrete or rock or tanks or whatever, really. And that's done just entirely from the shape that it starts at. Correct. As always, these events are incredibly fast. So we've got some serious gear again. There's a Phantom recording in 4K at 1,000 frames a second. That's just a witnessing the whole thing. It'll probably be completely useless for analyzing the shape charge. Over here, we've got the Shimatsu. Last time we ran this at 5 million frames a second to see the cone fly out. Might run it faster today. And then over here, the TMX, which I'm going to start at around 80,000 frames a second and then maybe push up to 400. Nice thin slit. Okay, before we get into the multiples, mm -hmm. we thought maybe we'll just fire one off, get an idea for exposure, yep. into a lovely block of ballistic gel. That's right. This is also 20% ballistic gel rather than the 10% we used before. So, oh, solid, meaty. And I just have no idea what's going to happen. Yeah, because when we send big old rounds from an elephant gun through it, the hole of entry is so wide temporarily, it stretches out massively. Yeah. But I don't really know if this is going to do this. It's like obviously way more velocity, but there's, there's not a lot of mass. There's less mass, but there'll be more pressure. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I have no idea. You ready? Ready. All right. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Brilliant. Good pop. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> Look what it's done to the table. Oh. It's done more to the table than it has to the thing that it was fired at. That is insane because it's never black on the inside. That is cool, by the way. Did it just like dribble out the end? It's made a grim looking melty hole in it though. Oh, that looks That's... like... That looks like the beginning of a raid in Destiny. That's somehow... I've, I've walked into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's somehow the biggest hole we've made. I Look see. at the pattern here. That's the fragmentation pattern. Yeah. yeah. Super cool. That's great. I wonder how much it expanded. Oh, yeah, let's have a look. First shot of the day. Oh, what? Bloody what? So fast. That was rapid. I just, I'm so used to bullets. I'll be honest, I was not expecting that to be gone so quickly. Whoa. So is that the tip? Look how quickly it dims. It doesn't have any brightness in there. Boom. And it's gone. Yeah, now we're just looking at explosion. The brightness is completely gone. Look at that shock wave in there. It's got like a big bow wave, but it's causing all this rip, this bubbling cavitation. Whoa, that is fascinating. So it lost a lot of its mass. A lot of its content is now stuck in this channel. But the tip of it, even though not bright here, relights it's basically and it's what's cool. left of it is still going. Look at how tiny that actual sort of jet point is. You basically got to see that react with two different mediums, and but it switched back and forth. That was really cool. <laughs> that was so cool. I love that. Speaking of very fast things, I'd now like to briefly talk about Opera Desktop Browser, who have very kindly agreed to sponsor this section of the video. Opera Desktop Browser is a very fast privacy and security based internet browser. My favorite feature is the built-in VPN. It's right there on the address bar. I've used lots of separate OS based VPNs in the past, but a lot of them have caused me issues with seeing other things on my own network. And because all my phantoms connect to my machines with ethernet, it can also stop them from showing up. The fact that it's a VPN built into the browser means I can very easily appear as though I'm somewhere else to other websites, but it doesn't mess with all the stuff on my own network. Conveniently, it's free and unlimited. It also has ARIA, a generative AI service with real-time access to the web to answer questions and generate content. I've used ARIA to translate comments on our videos from other languages, so I understand what everyone's on about, as well as doing all my recent unit conversions from metric to American. I've also found Tab Islands incredibly useful in keeping all my stuff together, especially when I'm buying props for videos and you can drag the entire island around, which is very convenient. Where other websites struggle with stuttering and lag on modern websites, Opera prides itself on its smooth browsing experience. You can try out the Opera desktop browser by 
clicking the link in the description. I'm very thankful for them sponsoring this video. These expensive videos are incredibly difficult to make without a sponsor, so massive thanks to them. Now it's time to make two shape charges fight each other. Okay, this is contender number one in the red corner. <laughs> Got this guy. He's gonna go over this hole here. All right, and we've lined these up with lasers to try and get them as accurate as possible because when they're this far apart, the points, the very finest points are tiny. Yeah. So there's gonna be a lot of sort of extra stuff happening here and like a lot of bright and gump, but we're gonna try and get the jets to meet in the middle. Just gonna go straight for it. Yep. Good luck. Fire in the hole, fire in the hole, fire in the hole. Very satisfying. Did you hear like a pew? Uh, what was that? Maybe it was some sort of uh, ricochet or something. Something spinning? Maybe. Oh, goodness. Oh. They've been hit on the side. What's happened here? They must have hit because, or something, because there's two holes. There's, th there's three sort of holes here, and then... I wonder if that's like just a from... one here. I wonder if that's just from a straight jet, or whether there was like an impact that caused them to split and go slightly deviated. This is, this is interesting. Yeah, this is like a larger kind of like sideways hole. Like it looks like it's been sort of... Uh, technically it should be just one straight hole, right? But there's God. three separate ones and one like one here and... Dear, oh dear. Look at our absolute battery of cameras. <laughs> oh, it's over. <laughs> Was that like one frame? Oh, look at that bloody massive piece of shrapnel that just digs out of the slab of oh, there. Oh. It, yeah, there's a lot more shrapnel than I thought there would be actually. Playing back, ready? Yep. Oh, <gasps> whoa. What? That is instant. That's Look at that so lens flare. Why is it blue? Is that, what is that? It might just be like a certain wavelength of light. That is JJ That is Avery. crazy. That is like two Death Stars. Like <laughs> a quick draw with two Death Stars. Do you know when someone gets like, uh, when Thor gets like sucked up by the, the bridge? That's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> the Bifrost. Yeah, he looks like a Bifrost. Hi <laughs> guys! <laughs> Like Thor just about to step out of it. That, that is absolutely, so let's see what we can see. The shock waves that are coming from the entire width of that, they're coming, they're like meeting. Oh yeah. It's like a sausage shock wave. Hold on, you can see if you rewind it and play back the, the blue parts with the, the flaring, you can see them going past each other. It actually Wait, so does. they did. It does get brighter. They did. Bang. They collided in the they middle. They did. Otherwise it would have stayed the same brightness. Yeah, but then still some of it carried on. Like we didn't completely collide them both. There was still lots of stuff carrying on because you can see it and hitting then, the opposite side. So definitely want to go tight yeah. on that and underexpose. And I wonder if we'll see any impact. I yeah. think it's still going to be too bright, but I'll try and underexpose it. I can't believe that. I want to do it again. Let's do it again. All right, cool. Yeah, and there's that one that we saw plink off the, off the rock. Oh, Making wow. some new dents. Should we... Uh, Sign it. I should, I should write your name by it. Yeah. There's <laughs> like a radial blur. What's all this here? This is all, oh, again, fragmented. Like no, no, that's where the, the V was welded on oh, okay. to hold it. Yeah, it seems that we put little Vs on here to hold the shape charge. Oh, and they've right just place. sheared off immediately. Yeah, and they've just <laughs> embedded down. <laughs> This one got reamed. This TMX just took it in the mouth. That is wild. Did any of the <laughs> other... Oh, oh, this one. Wow. It's so deep in. It's like they've got the perfect width. They know what they're doing. Oh, you can feel it. Can you? It's bulged the it's inside. It's bulged. <gasps> it's bulged by like that. That's... That was scary. Close. It just shows you that how much sheer fragmentation is in the back of the shape charge, yeah. or the, the, the cylinder. All of this sandbag stuff, all of that there. Yeah, it's just a mess. We're it's basically a, mess. a frag grenade that fires a bullet. Essentially, yeah, it's a frag grenade that fires this one focused bullet, basically, <laughs> yeah. Huh. Nothing on the screen whatsoever. Complete pitch black, 375,000 FPS, 333 nanosecond exposure. Okay. And I've, I've just not, I that's... think it's going to still be too bright. <gasps> wow. That is a nice speed no. though. That's amazing. Oh gosh. It actually they kind of just brush each other, don't they? Wow. And then and I love the uh, the shape charge.
hitting the cloud at the back and lighting it up, like backlighting the explosive the other yeah. side. And look how just dark the regular explosion is. It's yeah. immediately gone out. This stays bright all the way through, <laughs> like all the way to the other side. I love how it gets brighter when they collide, when they collide right? It yeah. doubles the brightness, look. What's quite interesting is that as we get a shorter duration exposure, the glow from the jet is skinnier. Yeah. So like as we stop down, we're even though we're in the same place, we're just going to get a more narrow jet. So I'm going to have to push this camera. The lowest I can go on shutter speed is 95 nanoseconds. 95? The rest will have to be done in the lens. I'm already at f8. I'm going to have to go to f22 and then that's it. Then we're into like neutral density territory, which I've never used for slow-mo. So I've never ND'd slow-mo before. So this is going to be the darkest you've ever gone? Like the... This will be the darkest this camera can go. This is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Oh, wow. Here we go. Oh, they just miss each other. Whoa! Oh. What's happening there? I've seen this on other cameras, actually. If, if the subject is too bright, it just inverses the value of the pixel. Like, it rolls over from 255 to zero. So that actually might be the brightest area of the image. <laughs> like a negative. Yeah, I think that's just the exact points of collision. We need to drastically reduce the light intake of both cameras here. The um, Shimatsu will now be at 200 nanosecond exposure, but F32 and six stops of neutral density. Wow. So if we lose it on this, we'll hopefully get it there. Okay, so back to a 375,000 frames a second. Shut it all the way down to 95 nanoseconds and the lens all the way down to f22 we're throwing all of our equipment at this <laughs> all of it if i can't film it like this i can't film it <laughs> i need to go shopping <laughs> all right just nip to the shops yeah get some bds okay are you ready i am ready okay final 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 <laughs> we've got to check if the camera survived as well yeah because last time there was lots of bits Camera survival, priority one. Yep. Footage retention, priority two. Yeah. What's priority three? Lunch? Yeah. What a silly problem. <laughs> there should be some sort of software on there that does it for you. There is. But? Need the software. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa. You really pick up more detail there, don't you? See, all of this stuff that's now orange that's was pure weird. white before. And, you, and it's still... Do you know when someone gets out like a flaming sword? Yeah. You know, like it looks like two people getting out a flaming sword. <sighs> What's crazy is that the massive bright explosion that is on the back of the shape charge is now just like a little puff. Yeah, that is, that is a bright that explosion as well. That is a well. bright that's, explosion. That's essentially high explosives, like, like C4, you know. You can see now that because we're seeing the jet, it's only the tip that's the brightest part. Oh. This was entirely white. Yeah. And now we're seeing detail on just the front. This is blowing out. Wow. Glancing blow. Yeah, it was a it was a not quite perfect shot. No. But it's not easy. It's not easy. But that was definitely an impact. So this is as dark as I can make it without going and buying some NDs. Still blown out. So we should go and check out the Shimatsu, which was going at two million and was ND'd to oblivion. There's like the tiniest God. little bit at the front. So this is with all our ND, and we finally exposed the tip. We can finally clearly see the tip of the shape charge. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. I, I, had, I thought it would be more like a jet, but it's literally just like a teensy little tip. Yeah, the front tip is always just such a small surface area. It's minuscule, and these miss each other by millimeters but obviously all of this side material still collides and you can see it brightening up i mean it's very faintly brightening but it, you know to our eyes it was lighting up the whole frame that part what's interesting to me is that the sort of cloud behind that initial tip was blown out on our footage like yeah. the whole cloud but that shows that the tip is even brighter than that cloud you wouldn't be able to tell that from our footage yeah, exactly. I it love looks that like it's, it's still bright at the very front. It's, it's whatever powder is pushing through and hitting the air is what is bright, but that is the only bit that's max brightness. All these areas of blackness 
were where we were starting to see orange and all the area of white is what we can see in this Shimatsu shot. It's almost like it's been, it's perfect. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the only thing, we, the only stuff we can't see here is the color, but that is all the detail. That's fascinating. So probably only missed by a few mil there, but unfortunately that was our final attempt due to uh, lightning coming over again. What's interesting about that is, is that we lined it up with lasers and it looks like they missed by miles, but they've missed by such a small amount. It's so yeah. small. All right, remember last time we saw the shape charge start to form at 5 million frames a second? Yeah. I asked them to cheekily grab one, looking straight down the barrel from the very beginning of the explosion at 10 million frames a second. 10 million. This is That's actually still. as fast as the Shimatsu can go. Are you ready for this? Wow, no. <laughs> that That's is wicked. That's insane footage. Like that just shows you, how did they know this, by the way? <laughs> Like, how did they know that this happened without watching this? Like, you watch this and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can see how that kind of works. How did they know? I guess it's I thought that the jet would come just shoot forwards, but you actually have this shockwave igniting all the copper around the, the rim. Like, it all hits the front, but the jet at the back is still behind that. And then it hits. So it, it like, hits itself before it really comes out of the door. And also this part here, from the very first flash to where it hits the front, happens in 65 frames. At 10 million. So that's 6.5 microseconds of time. Well, even though we've done shape charges multiple times at this point, that was definitely the most fascinating footage we've got out of it. That was your favorite? That was my favorite by far. Turns out when you do shape charge versus shape charge, the winner is us. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird stepping down the exposure like as we got darker and shorter duration on each exposure the glow became smaller until eventually you could just see the tip it's just the tip that's hot i mean the whole thing's hot and bright but it must be that very front layer because it's moving so quickly so it's constantly presenting a new surface to the yeah. air and the stuff in like the middle of the cone is coming to the front as the stuff at the front goes out to the side exactly yeah that was mind-blowing yeah it's it was like brighter than a hundred suns it was so bright that the explosion was like nothing, like a puff of smoke, pretty much. Big old thanks to the Colorado School of Mines for letting us come here and supplying us with the appropriate amount of shape charges. There's links in the description to the stuff they do if you're interested. Hmm. Here are some other videos that we've made here. Thanks for watching.